what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i am here again back to the channel with another military video guys in this one we gonna check out the m1 abraham battle tank guys and the title said a beast you don't want to mess with i agree with that a hundred and ten percent guys i mean the united states of america military is not a military for you for anyone out there for any other military out there and the planet to mess with because they're gonna fight a losing battle but guys i don't want to give away too much in this one because i am so excited to check out this abraham battle fan are you ready are you ready i know you're ready guys before we dive over into guys remember guys if you don't subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel right about now for some more of these amazing informative educational videos Let's dive straight over into the video and check out this Abraham Battlefield tank. Are you ready? Let's go. Woo. Why you can't mess with the Abrams main battle tank? Wow. <laughs> Nothing strikes fear into the hearts of America's enemies quite like the sight of an M1 Abrams tank rumbling in their direction wow looking at that it's a supremely lethal machine equipped with a 120 millimeter smooth bore cannon that can turn a man into mist from up to three kilometers away simple the best military on the planet quick enough to escape that particular fate still have the abrams 50 caliber and m240 machine gun turrets to contend with the Abrams tank has been so massively upgraded over the years that the 1980s era war machine is now almost an entirely new vehicle as it has new armor, computers, ammunition, sensors, and weapons. However, interestingly, alongside the weapons and technology-related reasons why the Abrams is still so relevant to modern war, there's another clear reason why the tank is not likely to go anywhere anytime soon. The need for heavy armor. Guys, the reason why, one of the reason why the United States of America military is so, is the best, is the number one, because as you can hear they always upgrading i mean a lot of military out there they have a lot of equipment but guys they are just they still hold that's in the in in, in in the here that they build them whatever but the united states of america they always advancing when they come on to technology they always modernizing their weapon guys let's dive back over into it this raises an interesting question, particularly given that the Army's next generation combat vehicle program is focused on building lighter weight, artificial intelligence enabled, more like a robot. armored platforms and vehicles, such as its mobile protected firepower light tank, a new optionally manned fighting vehicle infantry wow. carrier. Unlike an Abrams, which is simply too heavy for air transport, these new vehicles can deploy through the air and therefore operate with an ability to hit warfare much faster should combat quickly Parachute. break out. The strategy here is of course to engineer armored combat vehicles that are more deployable and able to better support advancing infantry by crossing bridges or reaching places otherwise inaccessible to a 70-ton Abram. The thinking is to leverage advanced, long-range, artificial intelligence-enabled targeting sensors, lightweight armored composites, that is a laser. active protection systems, improved precision ammunition, and perhaps most of all, manned, unmanned teaming so that forward-operating robotic vehicles can absorb the most combat risks and face enemy fire. This approach, however, stands in a delicate balance with the current Army thinking that there will likely continue to be a need for heavily armored vehicles such as the Abrams for many years to come. Why? There simply might not be enough technical breakthroughs with efforts to build lightweight composites as survivable as heavy armor in the immediate future, Army weapons developers have explained. So while newer, lighter, faster vehicles may be less likely to be hit given its speed, technical defenses, and use of unmanned systems, Something like an Abrams is likely to still be necessary for certain high-impact areas involving massive wow. force-on-force armored warfare amid the incoming enemy fire. What the Abrams may lack in speed, mobility, and fuel efficiency may be more than compensated for by its firepower and heavy protective armor. After all, an Abrams can, in many instances, survive an incoming hit from an RPG or even anti-tank missile in some circumstances, 
and it's just not yet clear if there are yet lightweight armor materials able to do this. However, many weapons developers also recognize there's only so much a legacy platform can be upgraded before a new one is needed to meet modern threats, despite the continued prominence and superiority of the Abrams. That tank can disguise itself. It. These questions form the basis of ongoing discussion, as they pertain to the pace of technological progress and the promise of emerging innovations. The former Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, General Joseph Martin, talked about this with the national interest more than several years ago, explaining that there would be a need for a new type of tank platform in the future, but there's not yet consensus regarding what it should look like. What continues to make the M1 Abrams one of the best is that it has been continually upgraded over the past four decades in service. Approved for production in 1990, the M1A2 represents the U.S. Army's technological improvement of the basic M1A1 design and oh, wow. the most modern battle tank in the world. Outwardly similar in appearance to the M1A1, the most notable exterior changes on the M1A2 are the redesigned Commander's Weapon Station and the addition of a Commander's independent thermal viewer on the left side of the turret forward of the loader's hatch. Internally, however, the M1A2 has been radically redesigned to take advantage of newer technology. Most notable of these improvements is the addition of the Inter-Vehicle Information System. Approved for implementation in 1995, the M1A2 SEP is a technology upgrade and a standardization program, whereby the Army's fleet of M1s and M1A2s will all be brought to a common standard. Most notable among the modifications will be the introduction of a standard Under Armour Auxiliary Power Unit and the addition of a Crew Compartment Air Conditioning and Cooling Unit. Also known as the M1A2C, the SEP version 3 remains the current production version of the Abrams tank that was scheduled for first unit equipped in wow. fiscal year 2020. The SEP V3 is a tracked land combat assault weapon system possessing significant survivability shoot on the move firepower, joint interoperability for the exchange of tactical and support information, and a high degree of maneuverability and tactical agility. This version is the most modernized configuration of the Abrams tank, having improved force protection and system survivability enhancements and increased lethality over the M1A1 and previous M1A2 variants, said Lt. Col. Justin Shell, the Army's product manager for Abrams. Technology at the best. The Army intends the M1A2 SEP V3 to enable the crew to engage the full spectrum of enemy ground targets with a variety of accurate point and area fire weapons in urban and open terrain. The M1A2 SEP V3 is the first in a series of new or significantly improved vehicles that will be delivering to the Army's Armored Brigade Combat Team, said Major General David Bassett, Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems. It's a great step forward in reliability, sustainability, protection, and onboard power which positions the Abrams tank and our Armored Brigade combat team for the future. Even in a fiscal environment that's greatly hampered our ability to move towards entirely new vehicles, the SEP V3 shows we can still deliver meaningful and operationally relevant improvements. Meet the M1A2 Abrams <laughs> System wow. Enhancement Package Version 4. The M1A2 SEP V4 variant, to fully emerge in coming years, incorporates and extends a series of transformative upgrades which continue to ensure the tank's continued combat performance. There are many specifics to the version 4 upgrade, some of which are not available for security reasons, yet much of the adjustments related to breakthrough sensor technologies. Other version 4 innovations include new color camera adaptation, laser rangefinder technology, meteorological sensors and fire control or weapon sites improvements. Onboard networking will also be heavily emphasized in the M1A2 SEP V4 as it'll have a new Ethernet switch to streamline information flow throughout the vehicle. This will streamline information flow and also reduce the need for the number of boxes and reduce or consolidate the hardware footprint. Along with other modern tank variants such as the now arriving V3 Abrams tank, the V4 will fire an advanced kind of ammunition called an Advanced Multipurpose Round. The Advanced Multipurpose Round is an advanced ammunition technology which enables tank crews to pick and adjust a specific blast effect from a single round. 
fire. Wow. <laughs> For example, high explosive anti tank rounds, multi purpose anti tank ammunition, fragmenting canister rounds to attack dismounted fighters on the move, and a penetration round. This is made possible through a variable fuse ammunition data link and airburst technology. The arrival of the SEP V4 speaks to an important and at times under recognized phenomenon, which is that while the Abrams tank may have first emerged in the 1980s, the platform has been upgraded so extensively that it's now an entirely different vehicle. The computing electronics, targeting technology, armor protections, and sensors are generations beyond anything that first emerged. The prevailing consensus among Army weapons developers seems to be that the Abrams can remain superior for many years to come and that heavy armor is here to stay. Wow. Guys, shout out to US Military News. Go over by their channel and subscribe to their channel. I mean, they've done such an amazing job to put these kind of military video together. I mean, I have to take my hat off to them. But guys, the, United, the USA Army might don't have the most tank. But guys, what I can say, they have the best tank. <laughs> I mean, technology at its best i mean the usa army they always modernizing their equipment they always advancing when it come on to technology they are just second to none they are they are the best by far guys i mean i don't see no other country out there in the world to come close to the usa military love them or hate them you have to just admit the fact no question about it they are the best military on this planet hands down guys before you go, remember this guy, show love to your neighbor. The same way you want, you expect your neighbor to show you back love. Let peace reign. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.